Welcome to another day in the matrix. So I just got done making a private mastermind video for the course. It's probably one of my best videos yet. This uh, image gives you a little bit of an idea of uh, where we went in that video. It's pretty, uh, pretty interesting stuff. So for today's video, I'm going to go over some questions that I've been getting about XRP. Lots of people have been asking me about XRP. And um, as you may know, XRP is my second holding. My average is somewhere in around the 17, low 17 cent level. So I've been accumulating for pretty much all the way since the summertime, a little bit before the summer started last year. Um, and the questions that I keep getting are in regards to some dates and how we could break down the dates. So. Very simply, all I'm going to do is type into Gematronator XRP and Ripple. And um, the first method that we could do is just go ahead and look for the amount of days since the start of the year. That's typically a pretty easy way to go. And we've already passed the 58th, 22nd, 23rd, 14th, and 40 and 32. So we're left with 76 and 86. So if I just go from the beginning of the year, January 1st, to 76 days, we are looking at March 18th as a date, and then another date that we're um, looking at is 86. And we're looking at March 28th. So we have March 18th and March 28th. Those are two days to keep in mind. Um, now, another thing that we can do is take the 14 to get the closest amount of weeks till today, from today, which would be the um, week of April 5th through April 11th. So I'm going to go ahead and just draw a um, from here, moved over to April 11th. That way we get the um, span of dates in our range of dates that might be important. I'm just going to draw a big rectangle. And you guys could go ahead and do this as well. So right here from March 18th, which was our first date, the 76th day, to the 11th, which would be the end of the 14th week. And we're just going to put a box right there, and I'll remove this. So this time frame right here is what we're looking for. Now, as you can see today, the price of XRP is sitting at 45 cents, okay? So um, there are some things that are, oh, also one more thing would be 14 written in reverse would be 4-1 or April 1st, which we call April Fool's Day. So perhaps that's another date to keep in mind, but that falls within this box range anyways. Um, so that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about one more week till we enter this box and we'll probably see some, some price action. So we can't just use Gematria. We can't just use numerology. Although I do believe that those are the two most important factors to why we head towards a certain price by a certain date. Now we also need to use technical analysis. So some very quick things we can do is I'm going to shut off all my indicators um, this is absolutely messy, um, but I do want to bring up the RSI and the MACD. So what I'm seeing right now on RSI and the daily is it's stable. We're right, ar right around 45, 46. That's a reset point. So what that's telling me is there's a ton of room to the upside, right? Going to the downside would kind of be awkward considering that there's already been a massive sell-off and there's already been a couple of supply test days. Supply test meaning that we had a huge sell-off right here, got bought back up, and then a huge sell-off right here, and then got bought back up slightly. <clears throat> so these are supply tests when you have these big red days, but then followed by higher prices. Now another thing to look at is the MACD is still on the downswing, histogram on the down, and we're waiting for that to flip upwards for a bullish cross. So this would be a sign of we're probably going to get that cross um, by those target dates that we were just discussing, the March 18th, um, about the same time. So this might be very confluent with uh, this time box, might be very confluent with a bullish cross on the MACD, 
and then that would lead to upside. Now, there's a problem with XRP clearly, which is the resistance zone. So the biggest zone of resistance is about the 78 uh, cent level. Um, 76 cents, again, coming back to Ripple, 76. Once there's a daily close above those ranges, I believe it'll go to a dollar pretty quickly, but it's being controlled and manipulated to stay in this range. And um, as for the reason why of that, I know a lot of people might discuss the SEC case and how we need clar like clarity and all this shit. And I don't think that's that has anything to do with it. I think that's part of it in, a, in one regard. But I think that what happens with these big price moves is these are sophisticated players that are pushing people, basically retail, to get in and out accordingly. And um, that's why this chart looks so ugly, because this type of price action is only something that would happen from retail. And this type of big dump and pump action is something that could only happen from whales, from people who are manipulating the market, potentially ripple themselves, manipulating their own token, um, which, you know, you got to take profits. So you do what you got to do. But the long and short of it is there are some technical patterns that we're seeing. We are seeing a very awkward like cup and handle thing going on. This being the cup, this being the handle, and there would be a breakout uh, that would look sort of like this. Down like that. And we could see clearly that there's a resistance line downwards. And we also see this This would be the other part of the, the handle, right? Which some people could call a bear, uh, a bull flag. So we have a bull flag obviously going to, uh, to this range with the flag being something like this. And then let's just say you waited all the way to this red box zone to get a breakout and you're looking at a new high, um, somewhere around 82 cents. If that's the way you wanna play it, sure. Um, and that is the type of move that XRP does. It does these types of just like parabolic J curves to the upside. So we have our cup and handle, we have our bull flag, we know that we're not overbought or oversold on the RSI, um, we're heading towards a MACD cross that's bullish, and then another thing is there is like a weird inverse head and shoulders, which again is another bull, bullish pattern, um, with a price target somewhere around one $1.05 or so. But the way that I see this playing out is this is probably going to get smacked up another time. Maybe this bull flag plays out, it gets to the 80 cent range, and then it dumps down again. Um, until XRP is ready to go, and you guys might know this from looking at the, the, the chart in the past, if I go logarithmic and put it on weekly, this is insane how this works, right? So where I think we're at now is actually the final formation of right about here. Um, but what that means is this moment right here where we came up and this moment where we came up again is probably like this right here. And this dramatic sell-off was our spring back in the March crash. And you can see the trading range is almost identical now. Um, if we're only going to have those two humps, that means that this day is coming soon. This 215% in one week type of move. And, you know, we've seen it happen before. We've saw XRP move up over a 200, 300% in the course of uh, just a couple days. So whoever says that can't happen, they don't know what they're talking about. Um, but also what we would need to see is a breakout of the range and then come and back test this 78 cent level as a new support. Because otherwise, this asset is just going to keep pumping and dumping back to the 40 cent, 30 cent level forever. It needs to break out and confirm breakout. So um, I know what I'm doing. I know what my clients are doing um, in regards to this play. Um, you know, you guys could do whatever you want. This isn't financial advice. But... Um, I do think that it's going to continue to have these humps until it's ready to really go. And you'll know it's ready to really go because it'll break above a dollar, it'll close dailies above a dollar, and then it'll just skyrocket. Um, and you don't know how high this shit can go. Um, again, with the 32, or the 23, and the 32, both in Ripple and XRP, when it went to $3.20, kind of obvious, right? Like, you, we could expect that. 
now is it going to go to seven dollars and sixty cents or eight dollars and sixty cents that would be incredible right seeing a five dollar and eighty cent xrp absolutely incredible um will that happen it's hard to tell i'm not here to make promises but what i am saying is we're in the midst of uh three separate bullish patterns all with an rsi that's not even close to being overbought and um it's the most lagging cryptocurrency in the top 10. So um, XRP is about to have its Cardano moment where it goes straight up to a dollar plus and it's going to make a lot of people start FOMOing in. And that's pretty much how XRP always goes in its parabolic runs. Retail waits really late to get in and the smart people are buying at all the moments where it was oversold. That's, that's what you do uh, when you're a smart investor. So one other thing to mention about this date of uh, March 28, right here, March 28, is if you write the date like this, where you write 3 plus 28 plus 20 plus 21, you end up with 72. And now what's really interesting about 72 is that's the pure cipher for, oops, sorry. That's the, um, that's the pure cipher for Bitcoin, right? 72. So I didn't even know that until I was adding all the numbers up. And I thought that was really interesting how that could also be a really important date for Bitcoin right near that monthly close. Um, perhaps near that monthly close, we start seeing a breakout of 63,000, 70,000, etc. That could very well be in the, in the cards. Or even in the most bullish scenario would be a $72,000 Bitcoin on the 72 date numerology. March 28th. So that's another little uh, gem for you guys. Um, and then the last thing I'll finish on is the 76 in Ripple. Um, I was thinking about that and how I just added up that previous date and how that could be applied. Um, and we don't get a 76 date until, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it would be May, which is the five month 30th. So May 30th plus 20 plus 21, you end up with the 76. So the end of May may be um, another important date because that's where you get the 76 for the date numerology. And then you wouldn't get it again until July 6th for 76. So this wouldn't shock me because XRP typically skyrockets when everything else isn't and that's been another pattern that i've been seeing in my study of technical analysis from the past so yeah what if bitcoin uh near the end of may hits that hundred thousand dollar range then it starts to recede and then out of nowhere xrp just blasts off according to all these dates you know may 30th all the way up to like july july 6th um, it's another huge, another huge possibility. So all stuff to keep in mind, we went over the 76th day, the 76th day, the 86th day, the 14th week, and we're all approaching that right now. And then also one four date, which would be, um, April, uh, April 1st. So let me know if you guys have any questions. I hope this video was informative and I'll talk to you soon.